Huh? My view ain't talking to anybody specific, anybody, anybody, or anyone in general. This is for everybody. Well, the military, you know, that's negatives and positives. I joined the military. When you join the military, yeah, you're going to get a lot of good badness. Yeah, the military's going to pay for everything. Your health, your dental, everything. Give you discounts on stuff you need, stuff you don't need. When you join the military, it's going to be cold in the base. You got a drill sergeant always waking you up, straightening out yourself, cleaning your bed, doing this, making sure your base is clean, so make sure you're clean and stuff. And when you're joining the military, you got to take orders. Doesn't matter which branch you're, branch you're in, you always got to take orders. You're always six months away from your family or more than six months away from it. I mean, when you're joining the military, yeah, you gotta get a haircut, right? It's gonna be a cruise cut. Every single one, y'all have your head shaved, bald, just about completely. Once you join the military, you're not joining to have fun. No, 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 no. Military. That's going to be extremely dangerous sometimes. Yes, when you join the military. Half the time they might have you fighting wars and stuff. But it's more than that. When you join the military. You do a lot more than exercise. You have to learn about technology. You have to learn everything that comes for you. And in combat too. When the military. When you join the military, yeah, it's going to be a lot of drinking sometimes. Or it is going to be this and that. But when you join the military, it's not going to be no joke. It's 100% strict when it comes to the military. Yeah, you're going to face a lot of consequences. A lot of horrible things can happen to you. And some good things, I mean, not as that. When you're in the Marines or the Navy, the Army, the Space Force, the Army, Air Force, all of that, you gotta do a lot of training, you gotta do a lot, you gotta do a lot of things. You gotta learn how to drive a tank, fly a plane. Drive a ship, how to blow a cannon, how to, blow, how to clean the deck, how to, you gotta go through a lot of things. A lot of, shoot, you gotta worry about punishment, being AWOL, being thrown in the bridge. You know, they got a lot of weird punishments, that, crazy punishment that you're not gonna like, and it's not gonna be fun. No, no, no. They'll probably end up making you work on a helicopter, clean the bathroom. They will even have punishment where you... It's going to be more satisfying for them than for you. Join them in there to be, be no joke. You break the law. You break their rules. They'll have you locked up and eating nothing but bread and water. That's all you're going to have. It's not going to be a joke. It's no joke, too. Oh, no. You got to follow all perfect man. You got to do what it takes. You have to get through physical everything. You join the military. Then you have to get your military ID. You got to get your military driver's license. got to go through a lot of things. Papers, stuff. This is what it's probably like. You gotta learn. You better learn to make 
friends fast and quick. Because you're not going to have all that time to make some friends anyway. No, no, no. They, they push you straight on four. They know surviving. You got to learn to survive in the military. There's a lot of things you got to go through when you're in the military. You got to go by step by step every time. Go through repeat. You got to... You can't back talk your major, your your sergeant, your lieutenant, whoever's hit of you. No. You got to do what everybody tells you to do. Even the general, the government. Your colonel, your commander, the commanding officer, military police, you gotta do everything they tell you to the finish to the full. There's no waking up on your own time. You gotta wake up time they want you to wake up. If they have you waking up three, you gotta three. You, know, you wake up before, they gotta wake up four. You gotta wake up five, you gotta wake up five. You gotta train. They're early in the morning and late at night. You, there's hardly any sleep in the middle too. This boy. And yes, you hear my cat clawing on my window. But the thing is, when you join the military, you're not just doing it for yourself. You're serving your country. You're defending us. You're keeping us from, from terrorists from safety for all safety. You're you're risking your lives out there, guys. And it's no joke. Because trust me, you, even when, and again, when you join the military, you got you eat when they tell you to eat. You sleep when they tell you to sleep. You pee when they tell you to pee. This. Joke. They ain't no raising hands and asking questions. No, no, no. You gotta go, 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 go. Every time, do every mission, do things that you gotta do. They tell you. When it comes to the military, you gonna learn a lot. Things you now you think, oh wow, this is where I go. And once you retire from the military, your military training still sticks with you, stays with you, no matter what. And if you're in there or not in there, it sticks with you forever. About a lot of veterans and retire, and a lot of people who retired from the military, always and always be. who they are when they retire from the military. Every military person always keep their house clean. They always about being a neat freak. They always about cleaning the guns. They keep, they always, what they have with them, they, a lot of people who retire from the military are vet, even the veterans they always still do what they were told to do when they retired or don't or didn't retire. They do what they do best. That's what I gotta say. And that's so that's all you need to know about the military.